Hello, my name is Dr. Joseph C. Chen, and today I'm here to talk about my most recently published manuscript, Infertility and Sterility, in 2013, entitled Co-Culturing Human Endometrial Epithelial Cells in Stromal Fibroblasts Alters the Cell-Specific Gene Expression and Cytokine Production. This was a project that I started working on with my mentors, Drs. Linda Judice and Juan Irwin, and the purpose and objective of this study was to determine how paracrine factors secreted by both the endometrial epithelial cell and the endometrial stromal fibroblasts can affect the expression of genes and cytokine release within each other in the endometrial microenvironment. This is really important because uh, many times with monoculture studies where you work with simply the epithelial cells or stromal fibroblasts alone, certain genes are not appropriately expressed. So it's difficult to determine if your endpoint variable is actually uh, realistic to in vivo conditions. To establish this, what we did was we grew primary endometrial epithelial cells in these hanging inserts, which is um, which can be manufactured by a variety of companies. We use the Millicell system from EMD Millipore. And what we do is we uh, isolate epithelial cells, we grow them, and we passage them into these inserts. We coat these inserts with matrigel to replicate uh, components of the basal lamina. Now, once these cells achieve confluency, we combine these inserts with normal 24-well uh, plastic uh, cell culture dishes and we grow the patient pair fibroblasts in the lower chamber. And by utilizing this, what we can then measure is the effects of the basolateral secreted epithelial products on the uh, stromal fibroblasts underneath, as well as effects of stromal factors on the epithelium. We have to make sure that the epithelial monolayer has formed tight junctions and is impermeable to small molecules. So we use phenol red in the top chamber to make sure there's no leakage because if there's leakage then it will confound our results and especially since we want to know specifically what the basolateral secreted products are and the effect that they may have on the underlying stroma. So this also has uh, several utilities. Because we're using a polarized model we can add agents into the upper chamber to mimic lumen exposure. For example, we can add factors such as seminal plasma or vaginal spermicides, which may be internalized into the uterine lumen, into the apical chamber to mimic lumen exposure and to determine what the subsequent effects are. So this is a very, in my opinion, this is a very elegant model and it can be used for a wide variety of applications. But there are some several drawbacks. Uh, first and foremost is that uh, this is a very medium and maybe even low throughput uh, strategy because it takes a long time to culture the endometrial epithelial cells to full polarity and even when there's a little bit of leakage you can't use those cells or the condition media for downstream analysis. The second drawback is that we have not yet incorporated uh, relevant levels of ovarian hormones into the system. And most people know that uh, the ovarian hormones, estrogen and progesterone, can significantly modify the secretory properties of both the epithelial cell and the stromal fibroblast. So these are things to consider when deciding to use this type of hanging insert co-culture model for downstream applications. So the results were very exciting as we found that uh, through uh, the secreted paracrine factors, both transcriptomic and secretomic properties of each cells uh, were modified. So in the paper you can see uh, the differential expression of genes in mono and co-culture for each cell type as well as the differential release of cytokines released by each cell. I hope that this model can be used uh, by many individuals in the medical research community for uh, downstream analysis and our team personally plans to use this model to determine the effects of microbial spermicides and maybe even uh, the effect of HIV in this 
dual chamber dual cell model. Uh, thank you for your time and please feel free to leave comments and I will do my best to answer all queries. Thank you very much.